Fight aliens, paint like an elephant, and fly like a bird with this new virtual reality experience from Nintendo. Hi, this is Jen from TTPM, and I'm here with the new Nintendo Labo VR kit. And this is VR done right, plain and simple. If you want to stay in the loop on the latest gaming goodies hitting the market, be sure to hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. Right out of the box, the construction aspect gets your creative juices flowing, as you're handed as many pieces as a Lego set, but develop each toy con like origami. Folding the cardboard pieces and attaching the rubber bands and grommets may be a little difficult for some, but this is a great way for parent and child to find a DIY they can do together, or for a thrifty kid or kid at heart to zen out solo. This kit sees hours worth of play as each construct, bird, blaster, elephant, camera, etc., needs dedicated hours to build. On the low end of the spectrum, it will take 30 to 60 minutes to piece together the camera and headset. On the upper end, it will take more than two hours for the blaster. This was probably our biggest frustration overall. Because the instructions go step by step on screen, you can only speed up the process to a certain extent by pulling the forward button to fast forward through steps. While it's certainly easy to follow, I really wish there was a mode or even a printout for faster builders. Once the toy cons are built though, players can enjoy even more hours of immersive play through the VR mini games associated with each construct. If this is your first time experiencing VR, be prepared. Things can look a little bit blurry at first as your eyes adjust, but one thing that's nice about the Toy-Con VR headset is that it's made with us four eyes in mind, so you can comfortably wear it with glasses. The images are displayed in stereoscopic 3D, but there is also an option to play everything in 2D as well with a 2D holder especially handy when your eyes need a break, which the game will remind you to take. For first time Labo users, it's also worth noting all the main trigger points of each Toy-Con come naturally. With the Toy-Con camera, you can go on an underwater photo shoot. With the Toy-Con elephant, you can paint in 3D. The Toy-Con bird will have you flapping the Toy-Con's own wings to take flight, while the wind pedal will give you an extra boost in the bird dash game. That said, we found some Toy-Cons can be more exciting than others, with the blaster being by far our favorite. The design of the Toy-Con blaster itself will definitely get the stamp of approval of blaster snobs in terms of functionality. And with the blaster, you can take down an alien invasion or compete with friends in a fast-paced, fruit-shooting, hippo-feeding competitive sport. Two totally different game experiences, but equally satisfying payoffs. As you build each Toy-Con, you'll unlock new mini-games. All the games are quick to play. They really do fully immerse players in the game's worlds as they lend to the feeling of, wow, let me do that again. The VR Plaza is a complete game changer, not just for regular gamers, but especially for those gamers that love to hack the game. The VR Plaza features 64 mini games that you can play as is using the different toy cons in either 3D or 2D, or you can use the toy con garage VR to customize the games. It might seem a bit intimidating at first glance, but there are easy tutorials that show you how to build your own games as well as edit existing games. For example, you can increase the size of a ball in the soccer game or speed up your player to give yourself an advantage against an opponent. Nintendo actually used Toy-Con Garage VR to build all the games that do come preloaded, so that's pretty cool as well. In total, we think the Nintendo Labo VR kit is a complete upgrade from the original Labo kits, offering perhaps an even more satisfying gaming experience that ensures repeat play. So here's my pros. Great for family gaming. There's the satisfaction of building out the pieces together for some screen-free play, and the two-player games allow for added co-play on screen. There's also so much open-ended play. The sky really is the limit in terms of the gaming experiences you can create, and we love that there is coding involved which feels more like a bonus. Plus, it's a glasses-friendly design, and you can still play everything in 2D, which is great for those concerned about the obvious pitfalls of 3D and motion sickness, which we did not experience ourselves during testing. Plus, it's really got a lot of bang for your buck when you think about the amount of playtime you get out of it through both off and on-screen play experiences. Now, here's my cons. The time it takes you to build all your toy cons can get a bit tedious after a while, and kids that aren't avid builders might get a bit bored with this part of the process. Some toy cons are simply better than others in terms of the gameplay. 
That said, while we tested the $80 option, which includes all toy cons, there is an entry level option at $39.99 that includes just the blaster and goggles, and there's a reason that one's the one included. There's also two expansion kits with the remaining toy cons, but the Nintendo Labo VR kit software is not included with those. It goes without saying that a Nintendo Switch is required to play, and that is also not included. I give the Nintendo Labo VR kit four and a half out of five stars. For more on where to buy and current prices, find us at TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more great reviews every day.